Ospreys, welcome to another campus update with Inside Swoop. I'm Julian Holcomb, here to bring you up to date with what's going on this week. Are you a lover of trees and beautiful scenes? The nature trails at UNF are the perfect spot for you to enjoy some green. UNF's nature trails are great for relaxation, boating, picnics, fishing, and of course, enjoying the surrounding nature. As we approach the midterm of the semester, a relaxing environment can ease the mind and de-stress a student who is struggling, which would be of great benefit. Uh, the trails are open Sunday through Saturday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., so feel free to explore whenever you can. Have you been looking for a place to have a picnic or enjoy the sunshine for the upcoming spring break? Luckily, there is a park just less than five miles from campus called Fort Family. This park is still being added to and provides many activities for the locals. Um, there's a huge green field so people can have picnics there or they can play soccer. Um, in addition to the tennis and basketball courts that they already have there, um, if you have kids there, it's also a children's park, so all ages can find something to do. So next time you say, it's, it's kind of a nice day out, try and give Fort Family a try. With everything going on right now, it may seem hard to believe, but there are actually fun and affordable options for you to do around Jacksonville. Um, let's check in and see what there is to do with our field reporter, Dimitri Batiste. Hello, Ospreys. This is Dimitri, back to you with another nature activity to do around Jacksonville. Today, we're at the Jacksonville Arboretum and Gardens, located near Monument Road. Here at the Jacksonville Arboretum, you have the opportunity to discover and walk on seven different trails. On those trails, there are specific and unique flowers planted, and they give you a trail and tour guide at the front of the Arboretum. You also are allowed to bring your pets here, so it is very pet friendly, and bring your loved ones here for the opportunity to see the wildlife and the nature. Also, on your, on your visit here, Feel free to stop by the picnic area and have dinner or lunch or just a regular picnic with your family. So next time you're bored and the day is nice, come to the Jacksonville Arboretum and experience the wildlife. All right, Ospreys, I'll see you next time on UNF News. Dimitri out. If you enjoy flora and fauna, the Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens is the perfect place for you to enjoy the two. Not only are you taking a walk on the wild side, but you can also indulge in the many plant and plant exhibits the zoo has to offer. The botanical gardens are integrated into the animal exhibits so people can admire the greenery, river views, and the radiant flowers. Um, the zoo hosts many gardening events, so be on the lookout because it's an opportunity you will not want to miss. If you're on campus and feeling up for a little natural retreat, look no further than the Ogier Gardens, located just by lot 18 north of campus. Tours of the garden begin at 9 a.m. every Friday during the semester. For no cost, you get an hour-long tour of the beautiful on-campus gardens. Garden tours are only given while the weather permits, so make sure to check the weather before you go. Winter term in Florida always seems to be on a if you blink you miss it basis, and this year is no exception. Summer is in the air with high temperatures and sunny days causing local residents to flock out to the beaches. Um, there is a special connection between Jacksonville locals and their beaches. Um, they keep them occupied all year round. Um, the, while the water is still cold, the setting is just right. Jacksonville Beach continues to be a staple in the community for all types of outdoor leisure. Speaking of beaches, if you're an, a UNF student who has always wanted to surf, why haven't you learned? Um, there's literally nothing stopping you. No matter what your skill level is, you can go up to Jacksonville Beach, just seven miles from campus, and you can learn how to ride waves. Um, even if you don't, own a board or you don't own your own board, um, there are, are always rental stations on the beach. There's, they're always there. Ever wanted to explore downtown Jacksonville while not worrying about walking or biking? Inside Swoops Jonathan White scoots around the city on Duval's electric scooters. Hey everyone, I'm out here in downtown Jacksonville tonight to check out the new electronic scooters that have been scattered around downtown. These scooters require the Lime app to download and ride and reach speeds of 15 to 20 miles per hour. It's a $5 deposit and you're charged hourly. These scooters have been around for a couple of months now, but just recently it's become a trend to come down here at night and explore. Well, that's another edition of Inside Swoop. Tune in next time for more campus information. I am Julian Holcomb. Thank you so much for joining me on Inside Swoop.